Hi everyone, my name is Isaac. I use he, him pronouns. And uh, today for our finals week uh, de-stressing, uh, we're going to be doing some Minecraft. So I actually started this world on a stream a couple weeks ago now, and the goal was to um, find a good spot and build a house. Uh, just see if I can build a halfway decent house in, I guess, a total of four hours. Um, I probably will just go back to my normal blender streams after this. Um, but hopefully we'll reach a good point with, with the house. Oh, look, we have great, great timing here. The sun is going down right now. Um, yes, it's going to be an epic house. I'm not actually sure if it's going to look any good uh, for a couple reasons. I, I haven't built anything in Minecraft in a while now, and we don't have that long. Uh, but we'll do our best. I think I, I was thinking about this earlier. I think actually if we get to like 30 minutes left in the stream period and uh, I still have a lot to do I might just um, I, I Have cheats enabled on this world and I might just go into creative mode where you have um, unlimited resources and can fly and build whatever you want and uh, I might finish up in creative mode uh, just because that's that's a lot faster and I think it would be disappointing if we got to the end of the stream and didn't have a mostly finished house um, but all right so let's get started uh, I am playing in survival mode which in case anybody is unfamiliar with Minecraft um, Minecraft is a survival game it's a sandbox game uh, that generally means like the world exists for you to be able to do whatever you want in it uh, within within some constraints and limitations uh, one of which is like in survival mode you um, you can't fly obviously I, I can just jump um, and I have to deal with let's see down here you should be able to see my mouse let me know if you can't it's showing up in the preview so I think you can uh, but we've got a hunger meter that will slowly tick down if I don't eat anything um, and then over here we've got health and there are monsters that spawn in the darkness that will try to hurt me um, and I, I can die if I am not careful but um, it's not a big deal if I do because you just respawn at your bed which is right under there we just saw it a, a second ago um, oh good you can see the mouse uh, let's see question in the chat which do you like playing better uh, creative mode or survival mode uh, I usually play in survival mode by default just I think it's what I'm used to and I kind of enjoy the extra challenges and the limitations it um, um, like if all you want to do with Minecraft is build neat things then creative mode is perfect for that and I do enjoy playing in creative mode from time to time um, but I like that survival mode requires you to go gather the materials that you want to use for for whatever it is you're building um, it's you have to kind of invest some more time and effort into whatever you build and I find that that makes the the payoff of the finished product a little bit more satisfying um, that's definitely not uh, something that appeals to everyone I know a lot of people who have tried Minecraft but um, either weren't sure what they wanted to do or what they should be doing or they wanted to do something and then realized it was going to take forever and uh, kind of slowly lost the drive to do it. Um, creative mode can be good for that specifically. 
Um, right now I am gathering some wood because we're going to mostly make this house out of wood, probably. I don't really have access to more interesting materials at the moment. They take a lot longer to get stuff like uh, marble and uh, clay bricks and stuff like that. Um, we may have time. We may be able to gather some stone bricks. I, I may do that. Those look nice. Um, but for now, I'm going to... Uh, we planted all these trees last time, and I actually logged into the world in between streams to let these trees have time to grow and also to expand the wheat garden, which I was just over in a second ago. That's the patch of plants over here, the green in the distance. Um, it's much bigger than it was last time, and that should mean that uh, if we need food, all we'll have to do is go over there and, and pick some more wheat. But we've got some bread stocked up and some berries, so I'm hoping that food will just not be a problem at all this stream. Because uh, I want to focus on building stuff. So we are going to replant these birch trees, though. Um, you can see as the leaves are kind of deteriorating up here, they drop these little saplings that you can just replant. And the tree will grow back in a little while. It's a slightly randomized process. There's no great way to know when exactly a tree will grow back, but um, you just check back every now and then. See if one has popped up. Look, there's one. <laughs> this wasn't here just a second ago, I don't think. We've got trees kind of popping up out of nowhere. Um, okay, I need some more of the spruce ones as well. They give off the darker wood, which looks neat. Oops. All right, and let's get some sort of base structure going. Oh, uh, another question. Do the different building types have different durability against enemy attacks? So um, Minecraft is actually not a survival game where you have to worry about uh, really fortifying your structures against enemies in that way. Um, enemies won't try to come in and break your house um, not most of them anyway <laughs> um, so durability of building materials is not really much of a thing here um, there are other survival games that I've played that do require you to kind of uh, like set traps and that kind of thing. And you can do that kind of thing to an extent in Minecraft, like setting up little booby traps and stuff. Um, it's just not super necessary. Uh, all right, so I'm kind of getting some, some pillars going here. I usually start this way. Um, And let me think. I, I do think I actually want... So the way this is working is I've kind of got a simple floor plan set out. Um, I don't usually use the same color wood for the whole floor, and we may go back in and make it more interesting if we have time. But for now, I just wanted to get an idea of the room layout. So I'm thinking the kitchen is over here, and we'll put like a sort of fake... fake counter in there and stuff um, and then this will be kind of a general purpose living room and then if I need to be quick about it this will be the bedroom and we'll just call it done but if I have a little time I may make this a sort of side room with stairs on this side where you'll go up to uh, a second floor room over top of this one uh, and that will be the bedroom, but we'll we'll see. I, I may be a little too ambitious with that one. Um, I want to get some stuff going really quick. Um, 
So I've got a whole bunch of cobblestone that I'm going to throw into a furnace real quick. Um, and this is just going to make smooth stone here, which you can use to make stone bricks. Um, and I'm going to be using making a lot of those. <laughs> a plus interior design planning. Thank you. Sounds pretty cool. Um, can you demolish and rebuild later if you change your design plans? Yes, that is always like 100% of the time an option in Minecraft. Um, you can always just break down whatever you were working on and start over. Um, that's one of the things that is so appealing about Minecraft is the world is like completely your camp canvas and uh, you can do whatever you want to it. Um, like there are limits, but they're hard to reach. Um, for instance, there is a max build height that you can't go past. So you can have a structure that is the tallest possible structure. Um, but that height is it's really tall. It's hard to reach. Uh, so I'm heading over to this little village that we found last last stream. I want to see if there's something that I can... We might actually take this as well. Um, this is a brewing stand. It makes for good decoration. I'm just uh, I'm borrowing some things. <laughs> they, uh, they don't really use these things that I'm taking. Um, Villagers don't really do much aside from offer you items to trade. Um, and we're leaving most of their most of their things. I just um, there is one tool that I specifically wanted for it makes building much easier and I just grabbed it. Um, they should have they probably have more than one also. They won't miss it. It looks like we've got a little conversation going. Uh, let, me, let me catch up. Happy Monday, yes. Um, I hope everyone's like finals week is starting off well, not getting too terribly stressful too quickly. I've got some stuff uh, later in the week, but my Monday is pretty, pretty low stress so far. Oh, okay, it looks like the question was how tall, and I actually don't know the answer to that because it changes every now and then. They occasionally add to it. I think the next update, it's going to be even taller than it is now. Um, 256 might be the answer. It sounds more or less right. <laughs> uh, I'm, while I'm down here, I'm mining some more cobblestone because we'll probably need more for bricks and things. I don't usually mine cobblestone because you usually end up with a lot of it while you're trying to find other stuff, but uh, I don't really need to find other stuff to be able to build a decent enough house. At least I, I hope not. <laughs> Oh, cool. We've got a full schedule of our uh, Twitch de-stress streams for this week. Um, I hope people take advantage of the lovely content that everyone puts out. Let me make a chest for up here as well. Always good to have accessible storage. And we'll throw some of our supplies in there. Uh, what else? This wood as well. I might use this door, this brewing stand, and okay, this stone cutter is what I went over to the village to uh, steal slash borrow. Um, it lets you make things out of stone nice and quick. Um, usually like stone brick stairs would cost a lot more stone than just one. 
Um, so this is quite nice. Yes, steal slash borrow. All the villagers really need is uh, space to live. And I didn't take that from them, so <laughs> they'll be okay. Uh, oh, let me put these slabs in here as well. Okay, so something I like to do to houses, uh, kind of to start off, but kind of whenever really, is I like to give them kind of a, a foundation, almost like skirt, like a, a, a base that goes around them. You'll see what I mean when I start doing it. Um, I need a little more space for it though. We'll start. And honestly, one of the things I've learned about Minecraft is you can um, you can make something and think that it's going to look bad, but um, if you if you finish it and it's like a complete structure, then it tends to look better than you would think while you're making it. Um, just because it's it's easy to tell when something has had a lot of work put into it and it has like come together to become something complete. Um, but so here's what I'm doing. I'm kind of just going around the whole structure like this with stairs to give it a from a distance. It'll give it more of a um, it'll look more supported structurally. Um, you don't have to actually build structurally sound things in Minecraft. You more just have to suggest that they look that way for people who are looking at them. So you'll see while we while we're doing this, like there will be spaces that I won't fill that it doesn't really make sense to leave space there, but you won't be able to see it, so it won't matter. <laughs> Um, and I'm leaving space here because I want to be able to build a wall um, in between these pillars. Um, we'll see how I end up doing this. Um, sometimes I like to have a separate exterior and interior wall, but that takes forever, so I may not do that. We'll see how this goes. Um, and I think I'm gonna actually set, I'll, I'll do these, these 10, but I need to give time for more of this to make it through the furnace. Um, if I just keep waiting for it to finish, I'll, I'll be doing this forever. Okay, so we'll move on to something else. Uh, we have another chat. Um, isn't it common in Minecraft to get lost and spend forever finding your house again? It is sort of common, um, especially if you're really into like exploring and adventuring, which is fun to do in Minecraft. Um, it can be hard to kind of place where you are in the world. There's a couple things you can do to help that. Like there's a coordinate system. If I open the debug menu here, it's uh, you can see I've got my X, Y, Z coordinates over here. Um, I believe Y is height, so I'm at a height of 69. Um, but then if I wanted to find this location again, I would use this, this X and this Z coordinate. Um, and then you can also, if you look in the middle of the screen, there's kind of a, a representation of the axes. So this red points towards positive X and this blue points towards positive z so if i want to head in the direction of positive x i point the red in front of me and head that way um, and the debug menu is accessible at all times uh, i know people don't always like to use it because it's kind of cheating maybe question mark it kind of depends on who you ask but there are also in-game items that are supposed to help you find your way around. You can make maps um, and take them with you when you go exploring, for instance. Um, something I've also done in the past is just to mark a, an important location and make it visible from a distance. Um, I'll like build a really small tower that can be seen from far away so you can 
um, kind of find your way back by getting close enough and then looking for your tower. But, um, wow, okay, I'm having a hard time multitasking, chatting, and figuring out what I want to do. <laughs> Let me... So this is kind of the front porch, this, this thing here. Actually, I think it was, the plan was to make it kind of a foyer entrance. So I think I was going to do like, uh, making some half slabs of wood here. I think I was going to do something like this. Um, actually, let's not do this. Yeah, so we'll build up like a simple, let me get... It's kind of hard to talk through um, what I'm planning on doing with this kind of thing because there's a lot of choices and things to think about uh, and I'm very much making it up as I go along at the moment so um, let's see I think I want to use these for a wall this way so if you place logs like um, out in the world and then you use your axe on them you can like skin them and they look different it's just for a different a different look and i wanted to do that i think i'm going to put a window right here uh, which reminds me i had some windows down in the chest in the cave so let me go get those and whatever else i think might be useful down here so some glass and yep, that's, that's about it. There's not much that's useful in there. I think it's almost nighttime. Where's the sun? Yeah, there's a little corner of it. It's going down. Uh, let's see, how do people share their creations in Minecraft? Um, so, when you create a world in Minecraft, it, <clears throat> like with most games, it creates a little save file on your computer, um, and it's pretty easy to find. Uh, find that file, and you can go <clears throat> upload it wherever, wherever you want people to access it. Um, so that's something that people have done. I believe, depending on what version of Minecraft you're using, um, there may be a built-in features for sharing things with people. I'm not really sure. I, I am playing on the Java edition of Minecraft, uh, which doesn't have some of those features. Um, and I'm not as familiar with the versions of Minecraft that would have those features. <clears throat> Excuse me, I had to take a sip of water. Okay, it's daytime now. It took us a little while for it to get dark enough for me to sleep. Um, you can only sleep at night. All right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this now. We're, we're trying to move quickly. Uh, usually I wait to put in windows last because if you break them, uh, you don't get them back. You have to make, make more. But I think I feel pretty confident about leaving those there. Um, and let's see, we'll put a doorway here, so I'll need to make these two blocks, um, uh, not grass, that's fine, um, and then we'll do more wall to close this in, I need more spruce logs, that's this dark wood. Oh, it fell up there. Get down here. There we go. 
I broke a tree over here earlier. There we go. There's some more saplings. Let's replant these because I'm going to keep needing more dark wood. Okay. So we're going to have our doors. I already have one spruce door. Let me just make the other door spruce as well. Oh, <laughs> I forgot that when you make doors, it gives you three of them. Whatever. We'll put those there. That's where they're going to go. And we got an extra door again. That's fine. And we'll construct the rest of the wall around this. So I can't put windows here because they'll look weird next to the, the door. It doesn't fill up the whole block. Um, so let's see, we've got kind of a bright interior wood. Why don't we, I have a lot of uh, birch planks. Let's do like a, an outline around the door. Um, I think I'll remove this one. Oops. <laughs> I accidentally skinned that one. I didn't mean to. Um, a lot of the building in Minecraft is just knowing what different blocks look like and knowing how to put them together in somewhat interesting patterns. I am using dirt as a sort of scaffolding here to be able to place blocks the way that I want them. Oh, that's a problem. Um, you have to crouch to leave the door right now. Let me fix that. Uh, but I broke my axe. Let me make another one real quick. All right. We'll just have a sort of step up as soon as you come in the door. That's fine. And look, okay, so this gave me a little space where I can put some windows right here. So let me go grab those. Oh, that didn't do what I thought. Okay. There and there. Cool. Um, and yeah, that'll look fine if I just close the top with more of these. Which means, of course, I need yet more spruce wood. Have any of these grown up? Here's one. Excuse me, pig. And so you can kind of see why I'm like, if if we're still working on things heavily and there's like half an hour left in stream I may just switch over to creative mode because everything you build with in survival mode you have to get from somewhere <laughs> and uh, if I use spruce logs faster than they can grow then I'm gonna have problems um, of course I think we've got woods yeah there's a bunch of spruce trees over there um, that I can get uh, more spruce wood from if we need um, let me check on our stone that we were using to put the sort of foundation around things it's done now so we'll we'll try to finish that I may need even more stone which of course will take yet more time let's pick up where we left off And okay, I think I was gonna do, I was gonna do something different here. Yeah, let's switch to, I have some leftover oak half slabs here and I wanna do the 
the front foundation different. That might look weird, but I'm going to leave it like that for now and see how I feel about it later. I think I also want to give this a little front porch. So let's dig out some of this dirt. And what material do I have access to? I shouldn't have turned those all into stairs. A second. No, we'll just we'll just do wood. Um, oh, I already had some. Oops. Yeah, two is fine. Two rows. Okay, we'll fill that back in. The grass will grow back eventually. Shouldn't take too long. Let me gather my materials in a more easily visible place. I'm a little hungry. Let me eat some bread. All right. Cool, so we're calling that done for this little entrance. Um, and that's pretty good so far. Obviously we don't have a roof on anything yet, uh, but we'll get there. Let's see. Let me think about what I want the interior to be like. I think I want an actual interior wall for the kitchen and I'll put it here in between these uh, pillars of darker wood. Um, I would like to make it out of a different color of wood than the floor just to not have everything inside be the same color. So I think we're going to cut down some of these natural trees. We can always go in and replant them later if we want the forest to stay, stay where it is. In fact, I may have some saplings on me. Yeah. So we'll just replant all of these as we as we cut them down. Be environmentally conscious about it. <laughs> not that you really have to worry about that kind of thing in Minecraft. It's not that sophisticated. I'm just going to get more wood than I think I will need um, and or go until the sun goes all the way down and then we'll run back and sleep. Oh yeah, I was replanting these. Okay, I think I hear a skeleton over there somewhere very faintly, which means that it's probably dark enough to sleep. Can't spot it. Where is it? There it is. It may have just been in the cave. They spawn in the caves pretty easily. Let me replant this. So let's try to get two more, I think, because I've gotten two saplings. Yeah, sleep is very important in Minecraft, especially, I mean, <laughs> it's probably more important in real life, but uh, if you 
If you stay up all night in Minecraft, then you get attacked by monsters. So we're going to avoid that. See, we've got some monsters spawning out here already. Let's get to bed. Here we go. And most of them will now burn up in the sun because it's too bright for them. Okay. Most, but not all of them. These guys don't burn up in the sun. Little creepers. And they blow up if you uh, get too close to them. Oh, there's another one right there. Yeah, we might just let this guy blow up. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I have them set to not actually damage any blocks when they blow up. Um, that is the, the one monster that will damage structures. Well, there may be more than one. I, I'm not really certain that that's the, the main one <laughs> to worry about. Um, I noticed most of this wheat has grown up, so I'm going to harvest it. And this was one of the things I worked on in between streams. I think I mentioned that already. Uh, if you sleep for a long time, will more trees regrow? Um, that's a good question. You actually can't um, control how long you sleep. Um, uh, it, Minecraft doesn't let you sleep during the day. Um, so when you go to sleep at night, you always wake up first thing in the morning, um, and you can't go back to sleep if you try. Um, so there's no good way to let time pass, like, artificially. You have to just kind of be there for it. <laughs> um, the, the way you can get trees to grow faster is to take some bones from skeletons and turn them into bone meal which is fertilizer and in minecraft the way that works is you uh you feed plants fertilizer and they instantly grow uh, a bit i think with trees they have like a random chance to to fully grow every time you feed them bone meal or something like that um that's one of those where it's like this was just how Minecraft decided to translate a real-life concept into, into game mechanics. Yes, skeleton bones equals more trees. <laughs> it's kind of weird. All right, so we got 50 logs. That's pretty good. So I can turn some of them into planks and build a wall in here for the kitchen. Let's put the door right there. And, um, well, I don't need a different colored plank or anything to indicate where the door is going to be. We'll just, we'll make this a blank, boring wall. It's fine. And so, If we want our interior to not feel cramped, we need to give it space to have height. Um, I think probably three blocks tall is going to feel fine. Uh, I don't know. I might go more than that. It all depends on how much time we have, and we are rapidly approaching the halfway mark for this stream. Um, the longer we go, the more I feel like I'll probably have to switch to creative mode to finish. But that will be fine. 
creative mode is fun. You get access to a lot more blocks uh, a lot quicker that way. I think for my interior doors, I want to use the birch doors because they look like this. Um, let's do this like this. They look a little different. Um, I don't think you put windows in doors. Like some of the door models have windows. Um, this one obviously doesn't. You can't see through it, but I don't think you put windows on interior doors. So I want to use one that doesn't have a window and is different from our front door. Uh, we'll put these here next to the other leftover doors. Um, this looks a little strange. I think we'll put a little step down. Let's see what that looks like. Where is my oak wood? Here it is. Make some stairs. Oops, that didn't place like I wanted it. Like that, it kind of marks where the door is in the room. I don't know. Will my progress be saved when I switch to creative mode? Yes, so to switch to creative mode, all I do is type a little command um, and it just gives me all of the creative mode perks um, and I, I stay exactly where I am. I can switch back and forth if I want to. Um, that's just because I have, I have cheats enabled. Usually you aren't able to do all that. Um, let's see, how do I want to do the exterior walls for the kitchen? I want them to look a little bit different than the foyer walls. Let's see, maybe we'll do some like vertical stripes and I think I want them to be I want it to look different than this part of the house um, so instead of using <laughs> I just went and got all of these but I'm gonna use a different type of wood um, let's try let's just try something um, how tall are we going? Oh look, so here's here's a situation where you won't be able to see this block when I'm done, so I'm going to take it out. Um, let's see. I'm just going to try, this might be weird, I'm, I'm going to try a pattern. Um, that I'm just making up right now. I think I need one there. And um, yep, I don't know. Let's do some. Oh, I already had birch wood on me. My inventory is getting very cluttered. put some of this up. Um, I, I think it's completely full right now. Eh. I don't know what I want to go down there so I'm gonna put dirt in for now. But we're doing stairs like this so that we can create kind of a 
recessed area um, just because it can look neat and let's see if I do this like this that looks very strange um, do I still have yes I still have oak stairs that looks maybe very slightly less strange and I think I'm gonna put like a counter right here on the inside so that it will look will hide this gap so I'm gonna oh I forgot I went like a half step down in here this is getting a little complicated as it often does Hmm, so maybe doing a half level floor is not a good idea. Let's try having part of the room be raised. We'll just see what this ends up feeling like. Interiors are weird. I'm kind of doing both interior and exterior at the same time. Um, and this is why I prefer to do exterior walls separate I'll, I'll basically have two different walls for whatever house I'm working on um, wow a lot just happened so it's nighttime and I am going to bed because I don't want to get killed by monsters um, but I also broke my axe halfway through destroying the half slab kitchen floor um, so I need to make another one but I don't have the materials for it um, so I had to mine one more cobblestone on the way down all right let me see if I can explain what I'm doing oh more stuff is happening so this is a raiding uh, party of enemies uh, they sometimes come in groups to just kind of roam through the area and attack whoever they find um, which in this case of course is me maybe if I leave them alone they won't come over here we'll, we'll see they're kind of a pain to have to go fight when you're not in an exploration and combat mood I'm just trying to build a house um, let's see so can you make different types of axes and weapons yes so um, if you look down at the bottom of the screen here at my sort of equipment bar um, you'll notice some of these and this is the same right here some of these tools are like a dark gray and some of them are a lighter gray, grayish white um, and that's because these ones are made out of stone and these ones are made out of iron um, iron weapons deal more damage than stone weapons do generally and they tend to last longer as well um, problem is I I don't have that much iron right now and I don't um, care to go get more because that takes time that I would rather spend building So, um, yes, you can. And you can also make, oh man, I just lost another tool. My shovel broke. Uh, you can also make bows and crossbows now, I think. I'm going to make a, I'm going to dig a little hole. I just need to get some stone. I don't want to have to go to the cave every time. And 
fact, it would be good to stock up on even more cobblestone and be able to make more brick things. Brick is kind of fun. Is it building material? And so actually, um, things are moving a little slower than I wanted them to, so I may even switch to creative mode at like 115 or something. We'll see. See how I feel about it. Uh, I just placed a couple torches in there to light up the area so that monsters don't spawn under there. Um, the criteria for getting a monster to spawn is not time of day, but brightness level. Um, so if you leave little pockets of darkness, they'll, they'll still spawn in there. So if you go down underground into a cave, you have to fight monsters unless you, well, until you light up the whole cave system with torches, which is a lot of work. All right, so we'll run some more cobblestone through the furnace and we'll eventually turn it into some stone bricks. Um, but let's get back to what we were doing in here. Uh, I was, oh yeah. <laughs> I needed some of that stone. Let me take some of it back out. I needed a shovel. There we go. Shovels are just much faster than digging with your hands. fill this back in with these half slabs even though it'll leave a space underneath um, just because I have a lot of them I may as well use them oops I didn't quite have enough. I thought I had enough before. Oh, I guess I hadn't. Yeah, these are, this is, the perimeter is where my ex exterior walls are going to go, so I don't need to fill those in. Because you won't be able to see the holes. All right. Um, okay, that gave us enough. And I do want windows for, like, bigger windows for this wall and for this wall. So this might get, this might get weird. Um, great, you can see that space, so let me fill it in. Um, So there's a couple different ways to do kind of countertops in Minecraft. You always kind of just approximate the idea of a countertop because um, there's no counter object or anything like that. So one way that I've done it in the past is to use stone brick stairs and place them kind of upside down. Uh, kind of like this, kind of like what we did with this recessed area back here. Stairs are pretty versatile. So this would be kind of a little little bitty counter, but we can use the stairs as like ends of the counter. Um, so if the counter goes to here, and then we can fill this top part with like slabs, which we will make. Uh, let's do that now. Um, I just need two of them. I'm not sure how many. Oh, okay. You get two. That's good. And then we can fill this in like this and, yeah, pretend that this is a counter. <laughs> um, it helps if you have things to put on it, uh, which we might do as well. You can put like little flower pots on them. That helps them look a little more like counters.
Um, okay, here's some clay. We can try to make a clay pot real quick. You have to dig up clay from riverbeds, usually. I don't know how much you need or uh, even how to make the clay pots, but we'll, it shouldn't be too hard. Hmm. You might need to turn it into bricks. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, so to turn clay into bricks, you have to run it through the furnace, and we'll do that once the furnace has finished up with the stones. Um, oh, I missed a couple things. Shovels are a fantastic innovation. I agree, they're great. They save so much time. And was that an octopus? Almost. It was a squid, and this one is actually probably about to suffocate on land. Get get back in the water. There you go. Um, yeah, it's a it's a squid. I don't know why the first water animal that was added to Minecraft way back when was a squid. <laughs> um, so they've just always been everywhere in all of the water in Minecraft. All right, um, I think for the kind of closed in, very indoor, cramped counter, we'll use, we'll put a furnace at one end of it. That's something you can do as well. So this will be kind of where the, where the oven is, um, right here. And I guess there's just some counter space next to the oven here. And let's see, we'll do, We'll put a sink. I'm not sure I like what's happening with this kitchen. It's kind of weird because uh, if we want to get a window in here, it's going to have to go above this foundation and our ground level sits kind of under it. So that's fun. We might make We might just do away with the changing floor levels and just make everything the same level, but that would take even more time, so we, we might just not. Um, you know what? What if we get rid of some of the foundation over here? We'll, we'll make way for the, for the window. It might look okay. Um, so let's make it even. And then we'll give it kind of a corner stair here. And then maybe put more bricks under under here to fill things in. We'll just use stairs like this. Um, oh, we can't do the stairs like that if we want to make a I'll come back to this this spot tomorrow, um, in game tomorrow, in like two seconds. Let me go sleep real quick. Yeah, uh, I like to <laughs> I like to try to save the squids. They very often swim themselves up onto the riverbanks and suffocate, um, which is very sad. They're just, they're not very smart. I don't think the AI for them has changed in years. They just kind of pick a random area to go to and go there, and then they pick another random area to go to and go there. That kind of thing. Um, don't do it again. <laughs> okay. And yeah, uh, Minecraft has some pretty nice sunsets and sunrises um, they did a pretty good job there I think we're gonna do something similar with the removing the foundation here and in fact I think I had planned to make this like a side door out to this little pond um, so we might do that as well which we'll need Mm, 
Yeah, let's try to do that real quick because that's going to determine what our interior looks like as well. All right, um, what did we do for our other main entrance? We put a trimmed birch outline around it. And I have, oops, let me not drop my bread. I have a decent amount of birch logs, so let's pick where this door is going to go. And it might look best if it's lined up with the inside door. I don't really know how this kind of planning works. And we'll do basically a smaller version of the same doorway that we used before. Oops. Wrong block. I wanted this one so that I can place these facing out like that. And trim all of them. And then we'll put a door right here. And I actually have an exterior door or two still sitting around. Put it there. Oh, it needs a different floor than that. We did this for the other one. Yep. Okay, um, and that, uh, oh, I put it, I put it in line with the foundation instead of in line with the wall, uh, which we might be able to make that look okay. Let me extend the kind of outdoor area level with the door, give you more space to step out before you have to fall down. Oh, excuse the dog in the background. I think she heard another dog barking. Do people collect the animals for pets? Um, yes, but not squids. Um, there are a lot of animals in Minecraft that can be tamed and named and will follow you around and be your companion. Um, I think you can do that with wolves you can turn them into like dogs and you can also do that with wild cats uh, turn them into little house cats and um, let's see there's parrots that you can tame as well um, and I think there will even be a type of fish coming up soon Oh, okay, I didn't do this one on this side. Uh, I think you, you'll be able to tame like axolotls or something. Is that how you say that? Uh, <laughs> closed captions spelled it correctly, so I'm going to assume that's how you say it. Alright, so this will just be a little bump out the side of the house. I, I think that I'll like that, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Um, I'm not sure what it means for the in interior, exterior, both <laughs> wall right here. Um, and so this is the first room that we're working on still. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and switch into creative mode now. Um, we did we did what we could in survival, but survival is very slow. So as a last thing, I'm gonna make a, a, a different chest here to dump my current inventory in it so that I don't have to... If I want to switch back to keep playing in survival, I, uh, I will be able to grab my inventory back out of here because one of the things that does happen when you go into creative mode is you tend to replace whatever your current inventory is with a million different types of blocks. So we won't worry about that. It'll all be right here. Alright, yes, let's get creative. And yeah, um, there is a dog in the background. Her name is Olive, and yeah, she'll bark every now and then. Um, so the command for that uh, was game mode slash game mode creative. There's a couple other types, uh, but the two main ones are survival and creative. Alright, so, oh, I didn't put my 
shield in here. Um, let me do that. And armor as well. I don't really need that. There we go. So we're in creative mode now. Um, you can see my hunger, uh, hunger and health bars disappeared. So I am invincible now. And if I double tap the jump button, I float in the air and I can fly up and down and <laughs> all around and get a good look at things from a lot of different angles. I have infinite resources and access to all the types of blocks that there are in Minecraft. Um, these are all things that you could eventually get uh, get a hold of, at least most of them. There's like two or three blocks that you can't get in survival that you can get in creative mode. Um, it just it takes varying lengths of time to get any of these. Um, Uh, let's see what else. I can break any block instantly. Um, I can also, there's like a pick block function. So if I look at a block of grass and press the pick block button, I, I get a block of grass that I can place however many times I want. Um, I have infinite everything. Uh, I can also show off really quick, I was talking about this earlier, the maximum build height. Let me just build a tower up to the top real quick. Make it out of grass, it's fine. I probably should have done something else that's more easy to break, but this will work. Actually, let's do the rest in the scaffolding, because you can break that all at once. Um, oh, why doesn't it want to build on top? We didn't just reach it, did we? No. Oh, you build it like this. Okay. So this will build all the way up to the top if I just click on this bottom one like this. That's so much more convenient than building a really long tower. So it's going to keep going until it eventually reaches max world height. And has it yet? Let's fly up there. Yep, okay, I hit the height limit, and it is indeed 256 blocks, so I, I believe it was Colin said that, yeah, they were right. And that's all the way up here, and I can't even see the ground anymore, it kind of fell out of my uh, render distance. Uh, one of the things that's weird when you get this high up is, um, unless you have your view distance on high enough, I, I don't right now, but you can see both the moon and the sun. <laughs> At the same time, the, the moon is just, it normally would be hidden by the ground. Um, so yeah, if we get a view of this from the ground, I'm going to fall all the way back down. It's, it's very tall. Um, and let me go ahead and break this now. Uh, actually, let me do this in stages. So first let me break all of the scaffolding because that's kind of fun. You break the bottom one and all of the ones above it break. It's kind of satisfying to watch. And then all of the little scaffolding items fall out of the sky so you can pick them up. It'll make kind of a mess down there, but it's fine. Click really fast to get through all of these. There we go. Okay, Ooh, I think I bumped my sensitivity. Let me set that back. And okay, look, so it's nighttime almost, uh, but I am using cheats now, so I'm gonna slash time set day. And it's daytime again. We're not worried about it. Okay, um, so let's, let's be faster now. Um, Oh boy, I still have to I still have to plan and think about things. Um, all right, so for right now, let me fill in. Oh, these were slabs. Um, let me fill in some of this with. We'll have this be a little alcove that you go into, and I wanted this to be that. 
instead. I think I wanted these the same way. Yeah. I'll put these back in. Cool. All right. Um, Oh yeah, so lighting is a thing. It's hard to do lighting in a pleasing way when you're building things, but um, they recently, somewhat recently, added lanterns to the game and they look kind of neat. Um, oh, do they have to hang from something? I thought they could just chill out on the side of a block. Apparently not. Um, okay, I have a... I think you can put chains for them. Nope, that doesn't work right. Let's do a fence post and hang them from those. There. Um, that's cool. That's fine. Um, and we'll do the same here. Just keep it consistent. And okay. Let's get a little more interesting now that I have access to more things. Um, I, I often like to use different colors of wood in the same room. Um, so let me look for st uh, stairs. And slabs, I think. So we'll go from the, the same wood color as the wall to oak is fine. Um, and let's do like a birch for this. Two high windows. That's too much. We'll keep it like that. And oh, this has to just be its own thing there. Okay, that's fine. This is just a very bright wall. And then we'll put um, a glass pane in there. There we go. Uh, and let's see, we wanted a big window for this one, but I want this to be the other counter on this side. So let's let's start there, um, I guess. Let me fill in this for now. Um, and we'll put the counter starting here. Actually, starting here. <laughs> um, And this counter I want to have um, hmm. I think I want to put a workbench in here somewhere. Oh wait, it's called a crafting table. Duh. Uh, I like those as corners sometimes. So let's do like a, let's do a wood counter, um, spruce wood, the dark wood. And let's see, that was like this, and then, and then it can run to a corner and continue along towards the window, like that. Uh, probably a different color of wood that blends in with the crafting table would look a little better, but yeah. Um, oh, I don't know when you said that, but I also love the lanterns. They look much nicer than torches. Much easier to use in buildings. So, okay, wait, let me center this. I want to put a sink in here. Um, A Minecraft approximation of this sink in a way. Uh, 
this is one, two, three, four, five across, which means it has a direct center and it's here. Um, that's kind of a shame actually. I like to have like the double double sinks. So sinks in Minecraft are just <laughs> just cauldrons filled with with some water. So let me get a water bucket and put some water in them and we'll even give them different levels of water by taking some out with a glass bottle. It's kind of a weird way to do things, but yeah, it looks a little more used that way. Okay, now we can put the window behind this and I think Um, we've been doing most everything out of wood, so I guess I'll keep it that way. Let's do these stripped birch ones for like the... the bottom of it. Um, and I had these ones kind of face us so that the corner of them pokes out and fills this corner in. Um, and then we'll have window like... I don't want the window to be offset even though the sink is. So we'll have a three wide window like that. That works fine. Um, Why don't we... mix up the wood here. Yeah, that's fine. I think I'm gonna do this. Oops. placing a lot of these blocks wrong. And let's see, this gives us the opportunity to put some lighting under here. Um, this is one of the ways I like to do lighting for big structures is to put them kind of at the bottoms of walls. Um, and this is a complicated light. It needs power from the game's like weird electronic system redstone. So I'm putting a redstone torch underneath it to give it power. Um, redstone is a whole can of worms I don't want to get into. <laughs> it would be fun if all sinks were just cauldrons. Yeah, they're kind of like those like bucket sinks that like poke out from the counter and are deep. I feel like that's the, the real life version of Minecraft cauldron sinks. Uh, okay, let me set the time today again so we don't have to worry about it getting dark. I think a tree just grew over there. And we've got some stuff kind of coming together here. Um, How do I want to? Let's bring back this idea with the recessed area. Sorry, I think you probably heard my phone vibrate just there, and also I got a desktop WhatsApp notification. Uh, I don't want that to continue, so let me let me switch to the be right back. I'm I'm staying here, but um, I want to close that tab. Of it showing up on stream. There we go. And switch back. There we go. So now we shouldn't get any more WhatsApp notifications. Um, yeah, that's okay. I, I wanted to bring back the idea with the recessed space. It's nice to give walls some depth a little bit 
when you can. Uh, it's hard to do in a one block thick wall though. Usually if you're gonna do like a really serious big structure in Minecraft, you you have walls that are like three or four blocks thick sometimes. Um, all right, I'm gonna call this room done for now just because we need to move on to other rooms and I'm gonna use the ideas that I put in the kitchen walls to build the rest of my walls so hopefully they go a little faster. Um, in fact, I want this one to have more noticeable vertical stripes. So we're gonna do like that. Let's just do one with it. Yeah, like that. And then we can put windows. Let's see. Here. Um, This might be strange. Let's use, this is a trick, it might not work. I want to do a recessed wall like this that's bigger, but there's no like vertical half slab. So let me try to use a trap door. Yeah, that works. You just close them. Um, you, usually you use this block like if you dig a tunnel into the ground like that and then you have like a ladder to climb out, you would close off the hole with this trapdoor so you can still get in. Uh, but trapdoors are useful for lots of other creative reasons like this. So I like that. I'm going to do that there and also on this side. So. And I guess if you if you want to think about it this way, these are almost like shutters that you could like open. Let me place them on the tops of the blocks. Like if you were inside, like let's open the window. But we're gonna have a regular window here in the middle. So I don't know. And um yeah, I guess on the inside this wall is a little boring, but it'll be fine. Um, and let's take care of the foyer interior wall. Um, Too tall. Let's do something like this so that you can kind of see in there what are the slabs. Yeah, we've got kind of a curved design here. This can uh, intrude on the living room space. There's a lot of space in this room, it's fine. Um, oops. Yeah, that's good, I think. I think usually for a, a like legit foyer, you would have doors on the inside as well, but uh, uh, I might do that. We'll, we'll see. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be fast about this, but it's hard to make these decisions quickly, and also to explain them at the same time. Um, if you have questions about any of my creative decisions here, um, let me know in the chat. If anything I did was like, whoa, what was that? Uh, I'll try to go back and explain it. Um, Let's see, I'm going to break up the, this is kind of a 
finishing touch sort of detail. <laughs> Not really one to do right now, but um, I'm going to do it right now anyway. Uh, ooh, actually I can't do this the way that I thought. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to reflect the idea from over here with these lamps uh, kind of buried in the ground. Put them here so that at night this wall is lit up, and this wall is lit up, and this wall is lit up. This one, I guess, just won't be. I might fix that if I have time later. But we're kind of we're kind of rushing at this point. Um, let's see, so this wall here, this segment is a different, it's a different width than this one, so we'll have to do something different. Oh, and if you hear a weird noise in the background, it's the dog drinking water. <laughs> um, I do want to see if I can do stairs. <laughs> up to a second floor. This may be way too ambitious for 30 more minutes of stream, but we'll see if we can do it. Um, uh, oops. And let's see. Call this the second floor because that's about the height that we've built our walls up to here so we can do like a it's um, it's good to have a visual distinction between floors from the outside Uh, it looks natural that way. So let's do something fancy here. We'll continue these pillars up like that. And so this is our floor level right here. So let me fill this in just for my own reference. And we're, we're bringing the living room up. Basically, and making it the bedroom upstairs. So I'm going to most of my floor will be in between the existing dark wood pillars here. Those will, those will come up past whatever visual distinction I have for the where the floors switch. And we're continuing our boring floors here, but it's fine. All right, I think I did this weird. We'll, we'll make these stairs thicker so that they go to where the exterior wall is supposed to be. Cool. Um, and I think, honestly, it's fine to have some, like, under the stairs area here. It's getting dark again. Let me set it to day. There we go. move out the bottom of the stairs with the just throw that there and these here I don't know if I like that but we'll leave it for now um, let's see I want another window here so let me just we've been very basic with how we show the windows. So let's continue that. I'm going to put a window right here. Um, 
And yeah, I guess I'll frame it the same way as well. Yeah, that's fine. Um, all right, I want our div our floor divider marker that I've been mentioning. Um, I want it to be like a standout highlight material, so I may do stone bricks again. Um, and see what that looks like. It's kind of a very light gray line running through things. I, I'm tempted to do like a marble pillar. What do they call that? I thought it was marble. Uh, I think it's quartz actually. These are very white. Um, oops. Yeah, actually, that's too much. I don't like that. I think we are going to do the fancy things I did here again. This sort of flourish. Okay. Um, Yeah, let's just do, it doesn't need to stand out that much. So let's do, yeah, see what this looks like. Actually, I have the trimmed version over here already. So let me pick that. Let's see what this looks like. It may not look good everywhere. That's good enough. This uh, this pillar right here doesn't look right anymore. Let's replace it uh, real quick. This is fine. We can extend this one and replace it with one of these. That's fine. Cool. Um, oh, the window. Oop. How long would it take me to build a house like this without rushing for Twitch purposes? So this is the kind of project that I would start in Minecraft and get obsessed over finding just the right materials and putting them in just right. And um, it would be very easy for me with um, to just like never even finish something like this. Just start it work on it for like a couple weeks or something just off and on and uh, never fully fully finish um, so I guess the answer is like in game time like I don't know like 10 hours or something uh, but spread over a couple weeks and with whether I finish or not being questionable which actually it's questionable whether I'll finish on stream uh, but I would like to so let me hurry <laughs> let's see where's our divider it's here and it goes like this did I have it cut through these no the other way around And we're just gonna have this one be a very boring wall because it's the stairwell inside. It's gonna be hard to show off the interior through any windows. Um, might as well do like a one of these things. Oh no, that's gonna turn. Don't do that. <laughs> I think. Yep. Okay, that's that wall done. 
And I will put a window right here for when you're on the stairwell, so you can see how it happens to line up pretty nicely. Nicely enough, anyway. Actually, let's make it let's make it a square window. I don't have any of those yet. They've all been rectangles so far. And this will show like exactly how tall the building will be at its tallest point. That looks okay. It's looking a little weird now that I kind of have two different colors of pillar. I have these dark ones and these mid-light toned ones, but I'm, I'm going to leave it. I don't really have time to be that picky. Um, okay. That's a lot of just the same type of block, but um, I'm okay with it. And let's bring back this visual for just some easy depth for an otherwise very flat wall. That's fine. Oh, this is um, the split is lower than I thought. Yep, nope, never mind. <laughs> I, I need to carry this around the side like that. Uh, so let's just lower this, that's fine. I suspect we won't have time to do the roof, but we'll have time for everything else. I might have to um, split one of my like blender streams in half just to finish this up, so that it's somewhere on the channel at least. Um, let's repeat this. I like this pattern. Um, oh, wait, is this how tall this is? No, this is too tall. Roofs are hard anyway. <laughs> yeah, they're... <laughs> not super necessary it's fine you just sleep in the rain also thanks for the compliment about variety I like to try to keep things interesting enough uh, we'll try not to do the exact same wall on the bottom and the top uh, but it may not be doable I was gonna let's see I want this to be an interesting space here. So we'll have, there's a fence, so I have some already. There. That's kind of fun. So the room is like big open. It'll, it's kind of a, I'm not sure I would want to sleep in this open of, of a bedroom. There's going to be a wall right here. In fact, uh, I'm not sure what kind of wall it will be, so we'll just leave it a flat spruce one for now. And let's try to continue this around at the same height, so that's this height. 
Okay, so we'll go across like this. And let's turn these into... Or, no, okay. So the way this was going to work is, and it may still work, is um, this part of the house over here is going to have a taller roof. And then the kitchen will be like a lower offshoot to the side. So I, I don't think I need the floor division on the kitchen side of things because it will just be roof instead. Um, oh, it started raining. Let me uh, weather clear. Let me clear. Let that rain go away. It probably destroyed the twitch uh, compression level for a second. Hopefully it is fine now. Uh, let's bring these up to their full height and do a really big window here. So you can get a, a sort of look at the interesting stuff going on with the space in here. Um, cool. Let's try to finish up this this set of walls over here. So the bed would be like so many different colors of bed. Let's grab the classic red one. This is what beds used to always look like in Minecraft. I think the bed would be right here in front of this wall. So a window is not necessary here, even though it would be centered sort of. Um, Interesting. All right, we're going to do this again over here. Just like sort of symmetry. Um, Sure, I need something like just mildly interesting here. Um, this here <laughs> like this for now and just move on for now um, it looks like mildly consistent on the inside uh, okay I 
there to be a bit of separation between the entrance to the room and the room itself. I don't know if I want to completely close this off. It's kind of hard to know. I don't know. Um, like you kind of want privacy in your room, uh, so I guess there should be a door to it. Um, we can still make it look sort of open. So let's continue this out this way and we'll put the door right here. So I was using birch doors for interior. Oh, it's raining again, wow. Um, do this like this, cool. And This is tough, this is a tough one. You probably don't want to be able to see the person sleeping from outside their room. That's a little weird, so let's uh, yeah, we'll just do a little interior window. What if I, can I put this here instead? Yeah, that works fine. It's really not that open. Um, let's do fences instead. So like air can get through those. Cool. Um, and yeah, let's see, so we're gonna like, Let's use this. To get kind of the curve of the What do you call this kind of support? Like cross beams, is that what it is? I don't think I want these ones. That is very off center now. Um, oh, wait. Yeah, that's okay. Let's set the time today. We've just got a few minutes left in stream now. Um, So it looks like we will have to do kind of the roof stuff some other time. Um, let me stick a light in here. I can still do a couple, like we'll have the exterior part mostly finished. Similar corner over here. One, two, three, and this goes up the whole way. There. This is going to be strange to rectify these two different building materials. Also, this curve is wrong. Ooh, yeah, good to throw in that 
that link again. Uh, we'll, we'll be doing a bunch of other de-stress during finals streams. A lot of them looked interesting to me. I think someone was going to play GeoGuessr um, at some point. That's kind of a neat thing to... It's like surprisingly watchable in my experience. Um, Oh, that is today. Okay, cool. <laughs> I might actually have to tune in for some of that one. Um, yeah, GeoGuessr is the, the game where uh, a website like plops you down. Wow, it does not want to stop raining. Uh, a website like puts you down in a Google Street View somewhere random and you have to guess where, where you've been placed. Um, it's very interesting. I'm terrible at it. Uh, but it's fun to watch people who are halfway decent at it. Let's see, so there's an opportunity for an interesting semi-exterior window here. And I'll probably want to do one of those. Make it like circular and stuff. Or as close to circular as you can get in Minecraft. Did this come up to the right height or is it one too tall? It is one too tall. Let's move it down one. And that way we can lay another crossbeam over it. Same as over there. So this needs to come up to there and there. Oh, why is this not centered? It needs to go. In one this way, and go in this side. Yeah. So then the idea is that, oops, I didn't do that right. There will be a roof over the. This may not work the way I have it, but there will be a roof over the kitchen, and then this window will kind of look out over the. This needs to be smaller. <laughs> over the over the roof of the kitchen. Um, Darren, I think it'll have to be square. But so when you're in the in the bedroom here, you can chill and look out over the over the rooftop. It's kind of fun to see the top of your own building from inside. I think um, kind of let the inhabitants know a little bit about how it was built. Yeah, I, I want it to be a plus. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I could do like a crescent, a uh, half moon type shape sideways. I don't know. Uh, this is something that you would have to fiddle with. And this still isn't centered. What What is happening here? There's two in and two in. And... I may have just, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. I see. I think. Is that right? Three here, three here. I think the reason it still doesn't look right to me now is because of this off-center door down here. Uh, but yeah, so then the roof will be like here, I think. Yeah, that'll work. In fact, you could do, it would just be, 
it won't be centered vertically if I do a plus window, so I may just leave it like that. Um, so yeah, that's actually most of the exterior done. Um, this will obviously be a lower roof as well for the kind of bump out for the foyer so that you can tell what it is from the outside. Um, we, This is a little more, I guess, complex than I was initially planning. It would be, we switched into creative mode early and I got a little overexcited with it, I guess. Um, set my sights a little too high. Uh, but we might be able to get away with doing one final Minecraft stream to wrap things up. I'll just have to spend a little more time talking about game design decisions to make it a little more relevant to uh, the more productive nature of our usual streams instead of the laid back relaxed finals week streams we're doing. Um, but yeah, thanks, thanks for tuning in. Um, thank you for all of your support and comments, Mod. Um, you've been great. Thank you for the, the compliments. I'm also pretty impressed with what got done in two hours. It can take a really long time to build anything. Anything besides your basic, like, dirt cube house. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with what we accomplished. All right, let me go ahead and save and quit. And all right, until next time, hope everybody has a good rest of your day and uh, good luck on everyone's finals.